Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ashland Middle School for Ashland Sevens, Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Summer Ball. And today it's the eight and one Ashland Sevens taking on five and five Hyde Park. Tom Nappy on the call. Connor Donovan is on camera. This game being broadcast on HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, and HCAT in Holliston. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. The field for the Ashland Sevens features Tony Dossis on the mound. Isaac Curley is his bat battery mate. At first base, it's Dom Cavanaugh. At second base, Max Dushney. And your shortstop is Mason Dushney. Dushney brothers in the lineup together today. The third baseman, Shea Donovan from left to right. Kevin Balowitz, Sam Farrell, Nick Calabrese is stepping in. For Hyde Park is James Birch, the third baseman. It is a hot day here today at Ashland Middle School. Very humid air. But these two teams are ready to go as the umpire having a conversation with Tony Dossis. The lineup for Hyde Park is James Birch in the batter's box right now, leading things off. Kevin Brown, the second baseman, will bat second, wind up and the pitch. A little high there, one and oh. Batting third is the shortstop, Sam Petipas. Hitting cleanup is the center fielder, Dan Donald, as this is hit in the air. Kavanaugh ranges over and makes the catch one away. Batting fifth is the first baseman, Matt Brown. Batting sixth, the catcher, Tommy Goonan. Batting seventh, the pitcher, Kevin Zavnock. Hitting eighth, the right fielder, John O'Leary. And hitting ninth, the left fielder, Matt Anzalone, is stepping in is Kevin Brown, the second baseman. The Ashland Sevens fresh off a nice win over at Walpole. A game that Connor Donovan had the call for. And we'll be showing that game throughout our Ashland Legion Baseball Network featured channels as that pitch is in there for a strike. One and one is the count. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Dossis is set to deal. Swing and a miss. Out number two. They'll bring up Sam Petipas, the shortstop. As the Sevens will throw around the diamond after a nice strike out there. It's a 88 degree day, a lot of humidity in the air. I'd say it feels probably about 95, 96 degrees as Petipas steps in. And he'll get a piece of this one over to center field and going back deep to make the catch is the speedy Sam Farrell, a one, two, three top of the first to the bottom of the first we go. You are tuned in to Ashland Seven Summer Baseball. Heading into the bottom of the first, let's take a look at the Hyde Park Diamond. They also are referred to as Parkway. Kevin Zavnock, the pitcher. The catcher is Tommy Goonan at first base. Matt Brown, Kevin Breen, the second baseman. Sam Petipas, the shortstop. James Birch at third base. From left to right, it's Matt Anzalone. Dom Donato and John O'Leary is stepping into the batter's box as Mason Dushney to start things off for the Ashland Sevens and we'll get you their lineup momentarily as the shortstop will lead things off against Kevin Zavnock, wind up and the pitch. And there's a called strike, the home plate umpire course behind the pitcher's mound due to the COVID-19 regulations. As Zavnock is set to deliver once again to Dushney, wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Mason Dushney leading things off, playing shortstop. Sam Farrell, the center fielder, hitting at second, playing center field. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder, hitting third. Dom Kavanaugh in the cleanup spot, playing first base. Tony Dossis, the pitcher, hitting fifth. Shea Donovan, the third baseman, hitting sixth, wind up and the pitch. Down low, says the umpire, one and two. Hitting seventh is the catcher, Isaac Curley. Hitting eighth is the second baseman, Max Dushney. Batting ninth is the right fielder, Nick Calabrese. For the eight and one, Ashland Sevens. Wind up and the pitch. And he held the swing there for ball two, two and two. I had a look at Kevin Zavnock getting ready 
for today's game, warming up, and he certainly has some good velocity on his pitches. Zavnok takes a look in and is set to deal. And this is hit in the air over to right field. Could be trouble. That'll drop in fair. Dushney around first, heading up to second. The right fielder still trying to dig out the ball, and Dushney's going to keep going all the way to third base. A stand-up triple for the shortstop, Mason Dushney, to start things off for the sevens. That'll bring up Sam Farrell, the center fielder. And what a shot that was there by Dushney. Farrell set to step in. Wind up and the pitch. Upstairs. One and O oh is the count. Runner on third, no outs for the sevens. That pitch down low. Two and O. Oh. Working from the stretch is Zavnok. And this is hit foul along the third baseline. Two and one. Zavnok is set to deliver. And a tip there, two and two. Sam Farrell hitting a 381 on the season. Very good start for Farrell this year. Upstairs. That was the first triple of the season for Mason Dushney. That started things off for the sevens here in the bottom of the first. That pitch down low, and that'll be a walk. Runners on the corners, no outs for the sevens. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. Balowitz off to a good start, a 321 batting average, 424 on base percentage, and 28 at bats. He has an opportunity here, down low. One and oh. Farrell with a slight lead at first, as there's a strike, one and one. Zavnotch working from the stretch. Checking at first, runner back safe. Zavnotch from the stretch, takes a look at first, and we'll check it again. Farrell back safely. Wind up and the pitch, upstairs. Two and one is the count. Yeah, 
Zavnach looks at first and deals. There's a called strike, two and two. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one, and it is foul. Count remains two and two. Zavnach gets the sign he likes and deals. Check swing, he went, and a runner taking off from first. Farrell has the stolen base, but it is a strikeout for Balowitz, one away. That'll bring up the cleanup man, Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman. Tony Dostas due up next. 5 p.m. start for this game here on this Sunday afternoon. Tom Cavanaugh at a 318 on the season, 429 on base percentage. And he'll take one inside, one and oh. Runners on second and third for the sevens, one out. Wind up and the pitch. And this is going to be foul. One and one. Zavnot from the stretch. There's a called strike, one and two. Tom Cavanaugh has one home run on the season, 12 RBIs, four runs scored. The Ashland graduate, and he'll take a strike there for the second strikeout of the inning for Kevin Zavnach. Tony Dossis will step in. Two on, two outs. Wind up and the pitch. There's one outside, one and oh. Dossis on the season, hitting a 267, 353 on base percentage and 30 at bats. And he'll take a strike there. Dossis has two RBIs, six runs scored. Wind up and the pitch. There's one outside, two and one. The general manager of the Ashland Legion program, Rich Pollen here, is here taking in the action as that's fouled away. Two and two. Zavnach needs some time. Farrell at second, Dushny at third. Two outs for the sevens here in the bottom of the first. And there's a pitch outside that'll fill up the count. If Dossus reaches, Shea Donovan will get an opportunity at the plate. And 
he'll get a piece of this up the first baseline. That's a fair ball. Here comes Dushney around to score, and now Farrell being waved around. He will score as well, a two RBI single for Tony Dossis. It's 2-0 Ashland Sevens. That'll bring up Shea Donovan, the third baseman. Job well done there by Dossis, helping his own cause. Donovan steps in and awaits the pitch. And he'll follow this one towards the high park bench. Shea Donovan out of Ashland High School in the class of 2021. As the 17 year old steps back in to the right handed batter's box. Fouled away. 0 oh and 2. Zavnok set to deal. Runner taking off from first to throw up is not going to be in time. A stolen base for Dossis. A little off the mark on the throw from Tommy Goonin, the catcher. Shea Donovan hitting a 167 on this season. Outside there. Yes, sir. That's not there. One and two. Set to deliver. And this is hit in the air, right side foul territory, and the catch is made to wrap up the first inning. To the top of the second we go. But the Ashland Sevens have a two to nothing lead heading in to the second inning. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball. Top of the second inning, four, five, and six do up for Hyde Park. Tom Donato, the center fielder. Matt Brown, the first baseman, and Tommy Goonan, the catcher. A two to nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens as Dossis gets set to work here in the top of the second. Pitch to the lefty down low. One and oh. Wind up and the pitch. Ball two. Dossis a quick worker on the hill. That's fouled away. Two and one. Dossis has pitched 12 and a third of an inning on this season, an 0 and 0 record. Wind up and the pitch. Inside. He has a 283 ERA. Swing and a miss. Full count. Big swing there from the cleanup man. And he'll get a piece of this up the right side. Takes a couple hops on the grass. Throw to first in time. Nice play by Max Dushney. A 4-3 to three ground out for Donato. That'll bring up Matt Brown. And he'll get a big piece of this in the left field. It goes, and Brown is going to be aboard with a one-out single. That'll bring up Tommy Goon in the catcher. Hyde Park is led by head coach Phil LaRoque, assisted by Mike Connolly. And 
And they were a nice breaking pitch there for a strike. Hyde Park was one of the unfortunate teams that had trouble securing a home field this season. So they've been playing pretty much all their games on the road. And he'll get a piece of this one over to right center and it's caught. Great range there by Nick Calabrese, two away. That'll bring up Kevin Zavnock, the pitcher. Runner on first, two outs for Parkway, AKA Hyde Park. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, go and one. Runner taking a bit of a lead at first as the breaking pitch is inside, one and two. Tyler Dossis, a 17 year old out of Assabet Valley High School over in Marlboro. Checking at first, runner back safe. And he was one of the players that came over to Ashland as he was unable to find a Legion team closer to his area, but lives close enough that he could probably be on Ashland again during a normal Legion season by signing a waiver as that pitch was fouled away, one and two. I'm sure Coach Obid would love to have him for as long as he's eligible. Good all around player, can hit well, pitch well. Takes a look at first and deals. Fouled away, one and two. Well, despite the humidity, it is nice and shady here at Ashland Middle School, so. Certainly makes it a little more comfortable to take in some baseball today. As this pitch is hit into left field, that'll drop in for a base hit. Good piece of hitting there by the pitcher. Brown advances to second, Zavnok to first, two on, two outs. John O'Leary, the right fielder, will step in. And here comes the lefty. Upstairs, one and oh. Both runners with a slight lead as Dossis looks at second and delivers. There's a strike, one and one. Two-man umpire crew, as that's fouled away. One and two, We've got a umpire behind the pitcher's mound. He's the home plate umpire, and then an umpire along the first baseline. And I have to say, all the umpires that I've seen, at least, have adjusted to the change of being behind the pitcher's mound compared to home plate. Very good. A swing and a miss, four strike three, and out number three. To the bottom of the second we go, the Ashland Sevens leading Hyde Park 2 to nothing on WACA-TV at Ashland, H. Cam and Hopkinton, or H. Cat and Holliston. Bottom of the second inning, Isaac Curley to start things off, the catcher, the seventh hitter in the lineup. Isaac Curley, Max Dushney, and Nick Calabrese do up this inning. Two to nothing lead for the Sevens. Isaac Curley has stepped up very nicely into the catcher's role for the Sevens team as he takes a strike there. Two thirty-one batting average on the season for Curley. And he'll get a piece of this one fouled away. O and two. Isaac Curley and Jackson Horning been sharing time behind home plate. Isaac Curley, a 16-year-old. 
takes a strike, out number one. 16 year old out of Blackstone Valley Tech High School, class of 2021. That'll bring up Max Dushney, the second baseman, the younger brother of Mason, the shortstop today. And Max at second base, 15 year old out of Ashland in the class of 2023. There's a strike, 0 oh and 1. Lined up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one over to right field and foul. 0 oh and 2. Max Dushney has been hitting pretty well. 250 batting average, 571 on base percentage. Does find his find a way to get on base quite often. Has an RBI and a run to his credit. Has walked three times and been hit by a pitch. Max steps back in. That pitch slightly low. Says the umpire, one and two. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, out number two. And strikeout number four on the day for Zavnok. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese. He has been red hot with the bat as of late. The lefty set to step in. Down, up high, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. One and one. Set to deliver, down low, two and one. Nick Calabrese, a 680 batting average on the season, 733 on base percentage, 25 at bats. Inside, three and one. I'd say Nick Calabrese has got to be one of the top ninth hitters in lineups throughout the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League, if not the top. And he'll get a piece of this one up the left side, glove by the shortstop, throw over to first. Is it in time? Yes, it is. A six to three out, four out number three. One, two, three, they go. To the top of the third we go. It's Ashland Sevens two, Hyde Park nothing on WACA TV in Ashland, H. Cam and Hopkinton or H. Cat and Holliston. Top of the third inning, nine, one and two do up for Hyde Park as Matt Anzalone takes ball one. A 1-0 pitch from Dossis. In there for a strike. Matt Anzalone, the left fielder for five and five Parkway. And this is hit high in the air, left side. Shortstop and third baseman ranging over, and a nice job by Shea Donovan to track it down. One away, that'll bring up the top of the order. James Birch will step to the plate. At Park, a very good Legion program. They've been in the state tournament quite often in the last few years. Line up in the pitch. Breaking pitch in there for a strike. And for those that don't know, this isn't Legion baseball this year. It's independent baseball. Upstairs. A lot of the Zone 6 teams started the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League, and Ashland and Natick from Zone 5 hopped on. Breaking pitch down low. A lot of Legion teams throughout the state are competing in independent baseball to get their teams out there and give them an opportunity to play some good competitive baseball. That 
pitch a little bit inside. Three and one. Milford Legion, they're in the Worcester County Baseball League along with the zone four teams. Wind up and the pitch. And there's a strike, three and two. And as far as playoffs, there will be playoffs at the end of the season. Dates and times to be determined. And this is going to be up the middle and get through the reach of Mason Dushney. Aboard with a one out single is James Birch. That'll bring up Kevin Broen, the second baseman. One on, one out for Hyde Park. As the righty steps in, Dossis working from the stretch. And a tip there for strike one, oh and one. Nice breaking pitch for strike two. Nice little drop on that pitch. Slightly down over at first base by Anzalone. Down low, gets by the catcher, Anzalone. Or excuse me, that's James Birch over at first base. He'll advance to second. That's debatable if it was a wild pitcher or a pass ball. We'll give it a wild pitch. Fouled away. Count remains one and two. Fouled away. One and two remains the count. On the second hitter in the lineup, Kevin Broen. He struck out back in the first inning. Fouled away. The battle continues between Dossis and Broen. Dossis so far, two strikeouts on the day. Takes a look at second and deals. Tipped foul. Looks at second and deals. Swing and a miss. Out number two. It'll bring up Sam Petipas, the shortstop. And the lefty takes a breaking pitch for strike one. Coach Obid directing traffic. And this is hit high in the air over towards center field. And ranging in to make the catch is Sam Farrell, losing his hat in the process, is able to make the catch for out number three. To the bottom of the third we go, the Ashland Sevens leading Hyde Park two to nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball. Bottom of the third inning, top of the order for the Sevens. Mason Dushney will step in. The shortstop hit a triple to start off the first inning, ended up scoring a run as he takes ball one. He scored that run as part of the two RBI single by Tony Dossis. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. Mason awaits the pitch, down low. Mason Dushney on the season, a 333 batting average, 444 on base percentage. 
Four RBIs and four runs scored. As he hits this one in the air, right side foul and a good attempt at it by the right fielder, John O'Leary, but he's unable to get there. Two and two is the count. Busy week for the sevens. And believe it or not, it is really the last week of the regular season. A swing and a miss there for out number one. Sevens obviously in action today. On Monday, they'll be at Norwood and Tuesday at Dedham. Connor Donovan will be on the call for those games. We'll have the broadcasts airing on HCAM and WACA TV and HCAT as well. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. And then Thursday, they'll be at Franklin. I'll be back for that game. And Sunday, they wrap up regular season play against Medfield. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. And actually, they are going to make up a game on Friday as well. It'll be a home game as their scheduled game last Friday ended up being a rainout due to some storms that moved through the area. Wind up and the pitch outside. So that is six games in seven days for the sevens. Upstairs. So I think uh, one of the important things this week for the sevens is gonna be getting those starting pitchers to last a good amount of innings to reserve those arms. And he hit him. So Farrell will take first base with one out. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. That is the seventh time Sam Farrell has been hit by a pitch this season. He's also uh, walked several times as Balowitz steps in. There's a strike, go oh and one. Balowitz has driven in nine runs and scored seven on the season. 321 batting average, 424 on base percentage, checking at first. Runner back safe. Speedy Sam Farrell, always a threat to steal. Sun's starting to peak out a little bit here at Ashland Middle School. Runner taking off from first, swing and a miss. The throw up is not in time. The second stolen base of the game for Sam Farrell. It's an 0-2 count on Balowitz. Line up and the pitch. There's the ball. Sam Farrell had one stolen base heading into today's game. Now has three. Nice slide in the second, getting the front of that jersey nice and dirty. Line up and the pitch. And this is a foul ball towards Coach Obed. Coach Obed with the gold glove play. The one, two. And this is a fair ball up the left side, bobbled by the third baseman, picks it up, throws the first, and he got him. Farrell stays put at second. A five to three out, a nice recovery there by James Birch. That'll bring up Tom Cavanaugh. Two outs, runner on second. Cavanaugh struck out 
His only plate appearance back in the first inning. Pitch outside, one and oh. Dom Cavanaugh, 18 year old. Out of Ashland High School, graduated this past spring. Tremendous athlete, and he'll file that one away. He's part of the state champion Ashland Clockers football team as well. He played a big role on that team. Quarterback for the Clockers. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Very good pitcher, hitter, and all around athlete. One and two is the count on the cleanup man. Upstairs, two and two. Kavanaugh reaches, Tony Dasis would step in. And he'll hit this one up the left side, glove by the shortstop, throw to first, in time. A six to three out, four out, number three to the top of the fourth we go. Ashland leading Hyde Park two to nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland seven summer baseball. Top of the fourth inning, due up for Hyde Park, four, five, and six. Dan Donato, Matt Brown, and Tommy Goonan to face Tony Dossis. Who so far has given up no runs, three hits. And struck out three. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to right field and caught. Nick Calabrese with a nice catch, one away. One pitch, one out. That'll bring up Matt Brown, the first baseman. Inside breaking ball there, one and oh. Ball two. Two and oh is the count. There's a strike, two and one. Some off speed stuff from Dasis the first three pitches to Brown. There's a fastball for a strike. Two and two. Up just a little bit high, three and two. Take you through the standings of the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League momentarily as this is hit up the middle and it's gonna be off the glove of Dushney. He really had a range over to his left to try to make that play. A one out single for Matt Brown. That'll bring up Tommy Goon in the catcher. Taking a look at the standings, you got Medfield at nine and one, Ashland at eight and one, Braintree at seven and three, Milton is at seven and three, Natick at six and four. Swing and a miss by Goonan. Franklin six and three, Quincy five and four, Hyde Park five and five, Walpole four and four, Plymouth is four and six. Breaking pitch a little high there. Canton four and seven, Norwood three and seven, Dedham three and seven, Westwood two and six. Doss is set to deliver, fouled away. Dedham one and seven, and Kingston one and six. 15 game season in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. Wind up and the pitch. 
And this is up the left side. That's going to get through the gap and be another hit for Goonan. Two on, one out for Hyde Park. That'll bring up Kevin Zavnock, the pitcher. So, Parkway squad threatening here in the top of the fourth. The big righty steps in, wind up and the pitch. Nice pitch there from Dossis, so and one. He delivers. And this is up the left side, and that'll get through the gap. And the lead runner, Matt Brown, going to be stopped at third. It'll be bases loaded, one out for Hyde Park. A single for the pitcher, Zavnok. That's his second hit of the day. And now John O'Leary, the right fielder, will step in. Lefty steps in, and it'll take ball one. Brown at third, Goonan at second, Zavnock at first. Swing and a miss. One and one. Bases loaded, one out for Hyde Park. Fouled away, one and two. Strikeout would be big here for Dossus. Two nothing lead for the sevens. But Hyde Park threatening with bases loaded and one out here in the top of the fourth. There's a strike and he got him looking. Two away. Matt Anzalone, the left fielder, will step in. He flew out in his only plate appearance. Outside, one and oh. Slightly outside, two and oh. Upstairs, three and O. Oh. Walk here would score a run. There's a strike, three and one. If I'm Anzalone facing a three one, I'm not swinging here unless it's perfect. And he doesn't swing, but he takes strike two. So now, you certainly want to swing if it's anywhere near that strike zone. The decisive pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Tony Dossis pitches his way out of a threat. Hyde Park had one out, bases loaded, but two straight strikeouts by Dossis. Keeps Hyde Park scoreless as we roll on to the bottom of the fourth. The Ashland 7s 2, Hyde Park nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland 7s Summer Baseball. Bottom of the fourth inning, 5, 6, and 7 do up for the 7s. Tony Dossis, Shea Donovan, and Isaac Curley. To face Kevin Zavnock who continues to work here into the fourth. A two nothing sevens lead. A nice job by Dossis, pitching his way out of a jam last inning. It was bases loaded at one point with one out and two straight strikeouts to retire the side. He already has a two RBI single today and he'll follow this one away, 0 oh and one.
Zavnok set to deliver. Down low, one and one. Mike Whalen, the home plate umpire today, Hopkinton native. A big community contributor in Hopkinton. And this is hit in the air over to left field. That'll drop in for a leadoff single by Tony Dossis. And so far, he is just having a fantastic day on the diamond. Shea Donovan will step in, the third baseman. Lead off single by the pitcher, Tony Dossis, second hit of the day. And now Shea Donovan going to see what he can do. Dossis with a slight lead at first. Takes a strike. Pretty good crowd on hand here for Ashland 7 Summer Baseball. Of course, they are all properly social distancing. And this is hit in the air, right field, towards the wall, and it's caught. And a good catch there by John O'Leary. Really had a back pedal to make that catch. One on, one out, Isaac Curley to the plate. Ball was getting awfully close to that wall out there in right field. 323 feet to the wall. Wind up and the pitch. In there for a strike. And certainly good to see baseball again, but also Mike Whalen back out there umpiring. Does a great job. Zavnok from the stretch. Upstairs. One and one. Zavnok looks in at first and deals. And this is hit in the air to right field. That'll get down for a hit as Dossis is going to head over to second base. A one out single for Curley. That'll bring up Max Dushney, the second baseman. Max struck out in his only plate appearance back in the second inning. Zavnok deals, upstairs. Runners on first and second, one out. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss, one and one. Nick Calabrese do up next. Wind up and the pitch. Outside, two and one. And he'll get a piece of this one. That's a fair ball. Up the middle, past the reach of the shortstop. And everyone's going to be safe. Toss is stopped at third. It'll be bases loaded. One out for the sevens. And that'll bring up Nick Calabrese, the right fielder. Nick Calabrese grounded out in his only plate appearance back in the second inning. Big opportunity here with bases loaded and one out. Pitch to the lefty, fouled away. Oh, 
Oh, and one. Fouled away. Oh, and two. Calabrese has been tremendous hitting wise this season, but also just battling pitchers and making him throw a whole lot of pitches. Zavnok from the stretch. And this is hit in the air to left field and it is caught. Runner from third, Dossis going to tag and he will score. Three nothing, Ashland. A sacrifice RBI flyout for Nick Calabrese for the second out of the inning, but gets the job done as he drives in Dossis. That'll bring up the top of the order, Mason Dushney, with two outs and two on. Dushney, one for two today, had a triple in the first inning. And ended up scoring a run as part of the two RBI single from Tony Dossis. And it'll take a strike. Oh and one. Checking at first, and did he get him? Yes, he did. Dushney was way off the bag there, and he's picked off, but the Sevens do play to run, and they lead it three to nothing as we head to the top of the fifth on HCAM, WACA-TV, or HCAT in Holliston. Top of the fifth inning, top of the order for Parkway, or otherwise known as Hyde Park. James Birch will step in. The third baseman. A three to nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens as Dossis works into the fifth. There's a strike. The 0 1 pitch. And this is fouled away. Oh, and two. Dossis has been relatively efficient so far in this game. Nice breaking pitch, and he got him. One away. Six strikeouts on the evening for Dossis. Kevin Brown will step in. Rowan 0 for 2 today, has struck out twice. And he'll get a piece of this one, slow roller up the middle, bobbled by the shortstop, and he's safe. Well, bit of a difficult ball to play because of the couple hops on the grass, but I'm scoring that one in error. That'll bring up Sam Petipaz, the shortstop. So an E6 for... Ashlyn allows Rowan to reach with one out. Dossis looks at first and deals. Foul away. Oh and one to the lefty. Better pass has flown out both times at the plate today. And he'll take a strike. Oh and two. Dossis bringing the heat there. Looks at first and delivers. And this is hit in the air over to center field, a rocket, but it's caught by Farrell. Nice catch there by Farrell. Two away, that'll bring up Dan Donato, the center fielder, and cleanup man. One on, two outs. Ed Park has 
Had at least one base runner in every inning except the first. Runner taking off from first, throw to second. It's in time. Kevin Brown caught stealing for out number three, and we will head to the bottom of the fifth. Ashland leading Hyde Park three to nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland Seven Summer Baseball. Bottom of the fifth inning, Mason Dushney will step in. He is one for two today with a triple and a run scored. A three nothing lead for the Sevens as we enter this bottom of the fifth. And the first pitch of the inning by Zavnok is up high. One and O. Oh. And he'll get a piece of this one hit high in the air over to center field, but plenty of time for Donato to get in position to make the catch one away. And he'll bring up Sam Farrell, the center fielder. Quinn Kelly has taken over in right field for Hyde Park. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh and one. Farrell has walked and been hit by a pitch today. And he takes that one inside. One and one. There is warm up action for Parkway. Wind up and the pitch. Breaking pitch in there for a strike. Kelleher Gavin is loosening up. In case he has to come in for Zavnok. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Two and two. Good to see Major League Baseball back in action as well. The Red Sox lost today in their third game of the season to the Orioles, seven to four, as Sam Farrell goes down looking, two away. They'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. Sox now one and two on the season. And a pretty tough stretch for the Sox coming up in the next week or two. Pitch down low, one and oh. Fouled away, one and one. Wind up and the pitch. Called strike there. One and two. A one two pitch. Down low. Two and two is the count. Wind up and the pitch. Little outside there, that'll fill up the count. In Ashland's last game, they beat Walpole seven to four. It was back on July 22nd. And this is going to be up the left side, take a couple hops, glove by the shortstop, throw to first, and he got him. A one, two, three, bottom of the fifth to the top of the six we go. It is a three to nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens on HCAM, HCAT, or WACA TV. Top of the sixth inning, Ashland Sevens leading three to nothing as Dan Donato, the center fielder and cleanup man, steps in. And he'll foul that one away. Oh, and one. I'll take you through the schedule of games that are happening today in the 
Massachusetts Independent Baseball League as this one's hit high in the air over to right field and caught by Calabrese, one away. That'll bring up Matt Brown, the first baseman. Well, of course, here at Ashland Middle School, you have Hyde Park at Ashland. It was a 5 p.m. start. Kingston at Franklin, a 5 p.m. start. Milton at Dedham, a 5 p.m. start. Walpole at Weymouth, a 8 p.m. start. Westwood at Natick, a 7.30 p.m. start. Up the left side, picked up by the third baseman. Throw to first, and he got him. Five to three, four out number two. That'll bring up Tommy Goonan, the catcher. Westwood at Natick, 7.30 p.m. start. And Needham at Quincy, a 5 p.m. start. Very competitive league here in the MIBL. As this is fouled away, 0 and 1. Goonin's one for two on the day. That pitch a little bit low, one and one. Dossus deals. And this is up the left side, takes a couple hops over to the shortstop. Dushney with the throw over, little high, and Kavanaugh couldn't come down on the bag. Goonin reaches on the error. It'll bring up Kevin Zavnock, the pitcher. One on, two outs. Second arrow of the day for the sevens. Doss is working from the stretch. Breaking pitch, a called ball by Umpire Mike Whalen, one and oh. There's a strike, one and one. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit right to the third baseman, Shea Donovan with the catch. For out number three, we head to the bottom of the sixth. Ashland leading Hyde Park three to nothing. You are watching Ashland seven summer baseball. Bottom of the sixth inning, Dom Cavanaugh, the cleanup man, steps in. New pitcher for Hyde Park, Kelleher Gavin takes over for Kevin Zavnock. Zavnock had a pretty good day. We'll get you his line in just a moment. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Kevin Zavnock went five innings, giving up five hits, walked one, struck out one, and gave up three runs, all of them earned. Not a bad day for Zavnock, especially against this potent Ashland Sevens lineup. See what Kelleher Gavin can do. Outside, two and oh. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit here at Ashland Middle School. And this is up the left side, past the third baseman. That is going to be a single for Kavanaugh. That'll bring up Dossis. Who as of right now is certainly your game MVP. Two for two today. Slight lead over at first. Wind up and the pitch. Ball one. Runner on, no outs for the sevens here in the bottom of the sixth as they try to add some security. Runner taking off from first. The bunt pulled back, and it's going to be an easy steal by Kavanaugh. I think on that throw by Goonin, the ball probably got stuck in his hand a little bit as he tried to release. And Kavanaugh is aboard at second base. Hey, Louie. Line up 
matchup and the pitch. There's a called strike. One and one. Excuse me, one and two. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and it gets by the catcher. He's going to try to take first, and he will as Kavanaugh advances to third. So Dossis is aboard on the pass ball after striking out. The error will be ruled to the catcher, and that will bring up Shea Donovan. Runners on the corners, no outs for the sevens. And the runner from first taking off. There goes Dossis and an easy steal there. His second stolen base of the day. And the day for Tony Dossis just continues to get better and better. He's adding a whole lot of stats both at the plate and from the mound. That pitch slightly low. 2 and 0 oh is the count on Donovan. Runners on second and third for the sevens. No outs. And he'll get a piece of this one over to left field. This could be trouble, and it's going to get by the left fielder. Kavanaugh will score with ease. Dossis is going to be waved around. He will score as well. Now heading to third is Donovan. Did he get in? No, he's going to be called out. But he gets the job done as Dom Cavanaugh comes around to score. Tony Dosses comes around to score. So you could score that a two RBI double for Shea Donovan and thrown out trying to advance to third. And it's a five to nothing sevens lead as Isaac Curley steps in. The first pitch to Curley is low. One and oh. And he'll get a piece of this in the left field. It goes. And Curley is aboard with the single. He'll bring up Max Dushney. Well, seven's bats coming alive here in this bottom of the sixth. Checking at first. Curley back safe. Dushney one for two on the day. He'll take a strike. Had an RBI, actually a single back in the fourth. Wind up and the pitch runner taking off from first and the throw up is off the mark. Stolen base for Curley. Wind up in the pitch. And that is a called strike. One and two is the count. Nick Calabresi do up next. Down low gets by the catcher and Curley's going to advance to third. A wild pitch there allows Curley to advance. And it's two and two. Sevens threatening for yet another run here.
And this is up the left side, bobbled by the third baseman, picks it up, throws it at first, in time. Five to three for out number two. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese, the right fielder. Nick Calabrese already with an RBI today, a sacrifice RBI fly out in the fourth inning. He's also grounded out today. Down low. One and oh. And this is foul. One and one. Runner on third, two outs for the Sevens. They've played two more runs in this inning and lead it five to nothing. Inside, two and one. And this is going to be up the middle. That'll get through. Here comes Curley, an RBI single for Nick Calabrese. And he just continues to make noise with the bat. He has been unbelievable in that ninth spot this season. That'll bring up Mason Dushney. Runner right on first, two outs, three more runs in this inning. A 6 nothing lead for the Sevens. And this is going to be up the middle, take a couple hops on the grass, picked up by the shortstop, throw to first, it pops out of the first baseman's glove and everybody's safe. Mason Dushney reaching on the error. Up to second goes Calabrese, that'll bring up Sam Farrell, the center fielder. If Farrell reaches, that means the sevens have batted around. Gavin set to deal. And that'll get by the catcher. Both runners will advance with ease. Calabrese up to third. Dushney up to second on the pass ball. Two on, two outs. Both runners in scoring position. Wind up and the pitch. Called strike. One and one, the count to Farrell, who has walked, been hit by a pitch and struck out so far today. Takes that one outside. Two and one. Set to deliver. And this is going to be hit in the air over to left field and it's caught for the third out of the inning. We will head to the top of the seventh Hyde Park down to their final three outs, trailing six to nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland Seven Summer Baseball. Top of the seventh inning. Hyde Park down to their final three outs as Tony Dossis trying to grab the complete game victory. And he has a 6 nothing lead to work with. James Birch will step in. He is one for three today. And this has been a nice day for Tony Dossis so far. And we'll see if he can put the finishing touches on it. As John O'Leary, the right fielder, steps in. And he'll take a strike. Eight, nine, and one do up for Hyde Park. And he'll get a piece of this one into center field. That'll drop in for a hit. And that is a leadoff single. 
And actually, that was a pinch hitter for Allaire. That was uh, Quinn Kelly, who came into the game to play right field for O'Leary a couple innings ago. We'll have another pinch hitter here for Hyde Park. We'll get his name in just a moment. Nice breaking pitch there for, from Dossus. 0 oh and 1. Line up and the pitch. 1 and 1. A little inside there. Nick Pappas at the plate. Inside. 2 and 1. Inside, three and one. Runner on, no outs for Hyde Park. Fouled away. It'll fill up the count on Pappas. Top of the order due up next for Hyde Park. Dossa steals, fouled away. Line up in the pitch, and that is fouled away. The battle continues on. Full count on Pappas. And this is hit in the air. Foul territory and out of the reach of Curley. Well, Pappas making Dossis work for it. And he draws the walk. Two on, no outs. All right, Park not going down without a fight. I'll bring up James Birch, the third baseman. We do have a pinch hitter here, and that is strike one. It's Noah Magaziner. Pinch hitting. And he'll get a piece of this one up the middle. Takes a couple hops. The flip to second for one. Now the throw to first is high. And that'll draw Kavanaugh off the bag. They get one. Moving up to third is Quinn Kelly. Reaching on the fielder's choice is... Magaziner, a six to four fielder's choice. One away, two on. Kevin Bro into the plate. And the seven's gonna get some warm up action just in case. Manny Tomaselli getting loose. Runners on the corners, one out. And Dossus needed some time. Slight lead by both runners. Upstairs. One and O. Down low, two and O. The Ashland Sevens trying to improve to nine and one on the year. They are two outs away from doing so. 
Breaking pitch in there for a strike. Two and one. The two one. And that is fouled away. Two and two. And this is going to be a slow roller up the middle. Glove by the shortstop. Steps on second for one. The throw to first. And he got him. A 6-3 to three double play will wrap this game up. And the Ashland Sevens are going to take it 6 to nothing and improve to 9-1 and one on this season. A very impressive win by the Ashland Sevens here today as they are able to capture the victory. Six runs on eight hits for Ashland, two errors. For Hyde Park, it was no runs, and they ended up having, as I'm counting here, uh, six hits on the day. Actually, correction on that, make that seven hits on the day for Hyde Park, and two errors. A great team win by the Sevens today. Tony Dossis is your player of the game. He pitched a complete game, shut out, and picked up the victory on the mound and also did some damage with the bat as he ended up going one for, or two for three at the plate, but he did reach all times. He had a two RBI single in the first inning. And then he would have a single in the fourth inning and end up scoring a run. And then in the sixth inning, he reached on an error and stole a base. What a day for Tony Dossis as he contributes heavily on the mound and heavily at the plate to help the Ashland Sevens to the six to nothing victory over Hyde Park. Ashland now nine and one on the season. Hyde Park falls to five and six. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Ashland 7's Summer Baseball. The final score for the final time. Ashland 7's over Hyde Park, 6 to nothing. We will catch you next time. The Ashland 7's next head over to Norwood on Monday night. But for all of our crew, take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching, everybody.